Welcome guys to another top 5 on my channel, this is going to be the top 5 unknown spots in all of Call of Duty maps. So this actually only features Modern Warfare 2 and World at War. Modern Warfare 2 actually has some really really neat spots that a lot of people don't know and also they don't know how to get there. World at War is kind of dead, but there's also some spots that haven't been found yet. So guys, if you did find an area or out of any of these spots out of the 1 to 5 or 5 to 1, and you didn't know it, definitely drop a like because then I taught you something new and this series is not a joke. But anyway, let's get into the fifth spot. So the first one or the fifth one is in Modern Warfare 2. So this is actually on the map underpass and basically once you go into the little, I guess, river area, you could climb up on a wall, then there's a little ledge. You want to jump up on there, run, and go around the corner. Now what's preventing you from getting on this little balcony out there is actually a pole. All you want to do is jump around it onto the ledge and then you can jump over and you can sit in there. Now this, this is pretty common, I guess, if you are also into glitches, I suppose. It's not really a glitch, it's just some a series of jumping. But anyway, I did this in an online match, and obviously you guys can see that I'm protecting B-Bomb after the guy plants it, and all I did was sound whore, and I waited for the guy to actually just pick up the bomb, I heard it, I got up, boom, shot him, and I won the game for us. Now this is actually a really cool spot, because honestly, not many people know of it, and when you get up there, you can actually crouch jump onto the rail and then look around the corner by the steps that lead down to the bomb. Now no one's going to be looking for you there unless they're really really trying because I've been poking my head out and zooming in and no one noticed me there until like last second so as long as you're not like dead as a cat with re reaction times then basically you could get this done easily. In our fourth spot we have the World at War airfield map and this one is an amazing scouting point for snipers and again on search and destroy I feel like this is going to be the map that you need to use it for so basically what you want to do is around to this ledge and then you want to hit double a or double x or wh whatever and double mantle up here move around the plane wing and then you want to run up it jump on an invisible barrier then turn around and jump onto the pole and hit the bounce you get on the pole and then jump onto the erect plane engine now you will be a beautiful star on top of a christmas tree in the middle of the map so hopefully you don't like i guess you don't miss the guy that you're trying to kill because you, again you're just gonna be in the middle of the open i mean if you stand still maybe they won't see you but but you're gonna want to get the kills as much as you can It's a nice little spot to actually show your friends and be like wow this is pretty cool but anyway moving on to our third spot it's another world at war map which is called upheaval and basically climb up this ladder and then you want to strafe around the barrier that actually has it and then you'll land on top of the roof but it gets better if you go on the other side of the roof you'll actually slide down so that's not the better part but it will get better when you strafe jump into the tree now there is a tree that you could jump into and obviously you could be hidden in there but it does distort your vision a little bit so what you're gonna want to do is strafe out of the tree onto another house which can actually go further up and a better vantage point of the map now you could either go here or if you just look around start shooting and obviously this gives you some great viewpoints of the map and most people won't know you're there so then if you jump down a little bit onto the other house you have a whole view of this map and it is phenomenal now again you can get around this one post that I saw but I suck so I obviously couldn't so if you're a little bit more experienced maybe you can in our second spot we have another Modern Warfare 2 map which is terminal this one I did again online playing in a multiplayer match so obviously this is possible and all you want to do is break this window climb up here and then strafe jump around this white wall part you'll jump on the other I guess windowsill and then break the window again and strafe jump onto the blue bars now this part's a little bit tough because if you don't left strafe then you're a little bit screwed but then you want to walk around and you're actually on a I guess above the bookstore type of thing you could also see the other Call of Duty or whatever it's called um, out of the map which is really really cool now as you can see I'm also getting some kills up here because no one expects you to be up in this area you could watch B you could watch the top of the propane tank and you could also watch a I believe which is really really cool because it's just a spot that no one knows again I'm using a WA 2000 with lightweight so I think that this is pretty unique in some sense and now coming in our number one spot it is pretty decent and again search and destroy domination anything if you're going for nukes this is a spot that you want to go to there's actually two spots in here the first one I'm going to show you which is no one really knows about and basically you want to run up this rock and 
and then you'll see another like I guess big little rock that you can walk over and then you just want to walk forward and jump around a barrier and move to the left when you do so you'll actually get like hooked onto the ledge and you'll be able to walk up it now this wall will defend you and if you're in search and destroy or just in domination in general no one's gonna know you're up there it's gonna be almost impossible to kill you unless they get behind enemy lines which is behind the wall which hopefully your teammates won't allow that and if you're oh may noob tubing god bless your damn soul but I, i'm hoping that's not the case but you'll still be able to do certain things up there like snipe people and they will not know where you're coming from no one no one i've ever seen in all of my years playing this map or this game has ever been up there with any game other than me so i really like this spot but then another area which is actually in the estate house now this is phenomenal again search and destroy so what you want to do is get up on the ledge by the couch strafe jump or just jump out to the ledge above the windows this is the windows where most people snipe out of so a lot of snipers will be looking there but if you're up a little bit higher they won't expect it so hopefully you have a sniper and also hopefully you don't miss because if you miss then obviously it gives your spot away and it's a little bit unfortunate it, but then you also have the other area which is right over the doorway now this is phenomenal it's obviously only gonna work one round if you're doing search and destroy but to have a shotgun out or have something you're right above the bomb and this is great for a ninja defuse because you just drop down and then prone and defuse it's phenomenal it's one of the best spots I know I, if you guys want to see more of these top fives I have many many more spots of these so definitely drop a like or comment down below and I will definitely be making more I know it's a little bit outdated because I know we're like years ahead of these games but it's just something I wanted to make because I love doing all these spots I've, I have other videos literally like this but on my old channel but anyway guys my name's Avery and I'm out